Ah, shit. Here we go again. Welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to be reviewing DMZ. Now, as always, I'm going to be giving you my general thoughts and opinions on this, and if I think you should see or skip it. Now, as always, there's going to be some language involved and some spoilers, so let's go. So right off the bat, you don't need to watch this miniseries. It's fucking terrible. But here's the premise of the series. <sighs> In the near future Civil War torn America, fearless medic Alma sets out on a harrowing quest to find her missing son. Crossing into the demilitarized zone, the MZ, of Manhattan, where a ruthless battle for control rages between rival gang leaders. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. So, right off the bat, the saving grace of this series is um, uh, Benjamin Bratt and uh, Ronaldo Gallegos. And these two were absolutely perfect in the series. And, you know, Benjamin Bratt, he's incredible in anything he does. And Ronaldo Gallegos, most people might probably remember him from uh he's been in a lot of things uh he's been an awful he's been in an awful show animal kingdom he's been in the he's been in titans on hbo max he's been in the movie triple frontier he's been in logan he's been on sons of anarchy one of the best shows ever um so yeah so those two were great and what's sad about this series is that it starts with Zario dawson as uh, um alma now, Rosario is usually really good in everything that she does, but here it's just a miss. It, it's, I don't know, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it, it's just, she's not good in this series. And I think a lot of it has to do with the directors, yeah, too, which, you know, right off the bat, that's not good. Um, now, what's sad about the directors is that the one guy, uh, the one director, um, what's his name, uh... Ernest uh, Dickerson, he's done a lot of great work. Then the other director is Anna du Duvernay. She's right now working on that show Naomi on CW. Yeah, you're like, what the fuck is that? Exactly. The show's not doing very well. It's not tracking very well, and I wouldn't be surprised if it gets canceled or, or, or whatever. But the problem with her is that she pushes racial agendas too hard, and you see that in this series too. Um, because... When you fast forward to the, to the finale where Alma wins the fucking election to become the, the fucking leader of the DMZ, which made no sense because the, the, at the end of the series, after they arrested Benjamin Bratt, the fucking military leaves uh, because nobody was allowed in or out through the bridges or whatever. But when they arrest him, all of a sudden the military leaves, opening up the pathway to, for people to leave. So she basically won the election for no reason. Okay, cool. That was stupid, if you ever tell me. Um, so, oh, and what's funny about that is, so, at the end of the election, they said about 200,000 people voted. Cool. Now, you have two, about 200,000 people on the island of Manhattan. How are you eating? Okay, because between the time of the series started, um, where Alma was trying to get on the evacuation bus and her son got lost, to the time where she actually found her son, it was about an eight-year gap. So... For those eight years, how are you eating? How are you fucking living? You know, you, you're rationing your water. Cool. But how come all your buildings look very nice and perfect? How come, you know, there's no light bulbs broken or shattered windows or, you know, whatever? You're in a demilitarized zone. Okay. You know, and then the other problem with the series is that everyone's fucking sitting there grooting each other and trying to look at you with all these hard stares and shit like that it's like oh my god just stop it and the other thing is that the series is supposed to be serious but yet it's shot all lovely and colorful and it kind of contradicts itself you know there's all these you know neon lights and this and that. again you're eight years into the future how do you have neon lights still working and you have like 200,000 people on this island like just you know it just makes no sense. There's a lot of things that are just faulty in this series, and it's just really badly written. It's really bad and you know badly acted. It's so poorly directed. You know some of the visuals are nice and this and that, but it, it, it's so painful. I, I struggle to finish the series, and then you have the the the, the episode four, the, the 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 series finale, and it just drags on and fucking on and then on and on. Holy shit, man! Like, I know a bunch of people 
or read a bunch of comments where people were like they couldn't finish the first episode yeah and i believe it because it's fucking bad i was so bored watching this series and i'm sitting there just fucking holding my fa- my head to my 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 fucking hand to my face i was just bored out of my mind you know and the other thing was so you know anna uh the anna chick the anna director lady she what's it called where are all the white people in the series there's a lot of hispanics there's a lot of uh asian there's not even that many indian people in this series but it's all hispanic and asian cool great spotlight them that's awesome but out of two hundred thousand people you have like three white people seriously and they show up at the, at the at the last episode and then all of a sudden the military is mostly white shocker you know like gee i wonder what you're trying to say there anna god this series is awful um you know and it's a shame because they could have done something really spectacular with this and they didn't and i think it's just a complete miss it's so bad don't watch it you know like you're gonna get it's gonna aggravate you they they don't explain a lot of things in the series you know and you're better off not watching it you know this this reviews are going on a lot longer than i thought it's just this series really fucking frustrated me and it really really annoyed me you're honestly you're better off reading the, the comics that, are, that dc printed on their um other other publisher vertigo because this series is really bad really really bad anyway dmz if you've seen it i feel sorry for you if you haven't i feel i'm very proud of you for not seeing it uh if you have seen it or haven't seen it or thinking about seeing it or whatever let me know what you think about it and we'll until next time